Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Raffle and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about the new expertise system. Today we started update 15.1 that came out. There have been a couple of changes to the expertise system, more like corrections to the expertise level people should really be because there was a bug since title of day 15 came out which pretty much rewarded players with more expertise level more expertise xp than they really should get from either doing activities or from donating materials pretty much the only thing that didn't change at all was the xp that you get from donating items now the reason that that occurred was simply because there was a bug or whatever which pretty much allowed players to go above level 20 and the community is, is super mad with the developers because they wasted time and blah 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 and all those kinds of things and now the developers pretty much said that they're going to be readjusting the expertise level that everyone should be depending on the way that you gain your expertise level if you get in through let's say just donating materials if the XP that you used to get by donating, by donating materials was not the right amount and you were getting more XP, you would go back to the level that you should be if that bug never happened. Now, everybody, of course, as you can imagine, is very, very mad about this yet and everybody's complaining. I personally don't really care. Of course, it's something that the developers should have made so that never happened, the bug, because, you know, it's just... If, if, if they had avoid all this shit so, now we would have people complaining pretty much everywhere. Funny thing about this whole situation is that before the title update 15.1 came out, before they did the fix for the bag, you had content creators and people running around saying to everybody, do not donate items because it will fuck up your expertise level and blah, blah, blah. The only thing that seemed to work fine was the donating items. That was the only legitimate way to earn XP and to not gain more than you should. In this video, I will try to tell you and show you the ways that you can earn expertise levels and share with you my personal favorite one. So, of course, the first way to earn expertise levels is to reach proficient rank pretty much with as many branches and as many weapons as, and as many skills as possible. The more items you have at proficient level, the higher your expertise rank will be. Now, that's simply because the expertise rank goes up by increasing your proficiency levels with items. So pretty much in order to level up and your expertise, first you need to level up your items to the proficient point. Now, in order to do that, you can just put on, let's say, six pieces of the same branset or whatever, go out, do a couple of control points, do a couple of open world activities, do a couple of missions, whatever. And at the end of the day, you will reach proficient rank. The more items, the more same brand set items you have equipped at the same time, the faster you will gain those proficiency levels, resulting to a faster expertise level up process. The second way is by going into the expertise tab choosing the weapon or, or the item that you want to level up your proficiency level and start donating materials. Now, I'm not a big fan of this method simply because it's too damn expensive and those materials can be used for recalibration or from optimization pr purposes as well. So I try to avoid that. As you can see in your screens, it's really, really costly and the reward, the, the outcome of you donating all your materials, in all honesty, it's not really that great. So it's the last method that I would recommend anybody to go with if they want to level up their expertise level. The third and last way for you to increase your expertise level is the method I'm using myself. Just go into countdown, use a build that you like, play a couple of times countdown. As you can see right now in your screens, when I started this countdown run, as you can see right now, I had 43 items in my inventory. When I got out of there, I had 103. That's 60 damn items, which out of the 60 items I donated, I think 55 or something. And as you will see later, I will show you the growth that I got on my expertise level. It's not huge, but at the same time, I didn't really do anything out of the ordinary. That, that's what I would do if I wanted to play an evening and chill out playing Division 2, I'll just jump into Countdown, farm for some specific items. Right now I'm farming for some good masks, so I had the targeted loot on Countdown mode for masks 
I didn't got any good masks, so I gave away all the other ones. Instead of just deconstructing them, I gave them to the expertise level. So pretty much this, this might not be the fastest, but in my opinion, because I'm not, I don't have to go out of my way to do shit that I wouldn't normally do. And because it's a passive way of increasing your expertise level, I consider it to be my favorite one. As you can see right now, my expertise level is one because this video is recorded after the readjustment on the expertise levels. I used to be four or five or something like that. So I'm guessing a lot of people got hit very hard with this readjustment. But again, I consider this to be my personal favorite simply because I'm not doing anything I wouldn't normally do. I'm just playing the game. I'm farming for loot and the loot pieces that I don't like, I just give them to the expertise system. So yeah, I, people need to understand that this is not something that an average player should be able to do in a week or in a day or a, in a month or whatever. Uh, maybe in a month, I don't know. But it's something that it needs to take time. It's supposed to take time. They implemented this expertise system instead of increasing a new level cap because the last time they increased a new level cap from 30 to 40 with Warlords of New York, people lost their shit and went mad because all their lost process and blah, blah, blah. So this is supposed to take time. This is supposed to be hard. The way I see it, I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm playing the game. I'm doing shit that I would normally do anyways. And I, I try to level up my expertise level at the same time as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you found the video helpful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.